Do you want an easier way to turn form submissions into PDFs? Forget Google Forms and its limitations. Fill out forms is free and a powerful alternative that you need. Check it out. Welcome back to the channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Zach Stevenson. I'm a business process and no code consultant. If you need help streamlining or automating any of your business processes, you can visit our, our website, innerdevsolutions.com, or you can click the link in the description below to book a free consult. To do this, you're going to need to create a fill out account. If you do not have one already, there's a link in the description below to get started. Once you log into fill out, you'll go into the make a fill out button here. Once you've clicked the button, you have a few options and we want to be on the form tab. We've got a blank form, some templates, or we can connect to a database that we already use. If you want to send the form submissions and integrate it directly with the database, they do integrate with Smart Suite and Airtable, Google Sheets, HubSpot, Notion, and many more. If you have your questions that you want to ask the respondent already in that database, you can go in here and connect to it. I'm just going to create one from scratch here. In this example, we are just going to pretend that we are a personal trainer and we're creating an intake form for a potential client or customer. Go and click blank form. I can select my theme and I can create the form. It's going to ask me to name it and I can go ahead and name it whatever I want. I already have the question set up that I want to use because in this video, what we are going to do is we are going to take the form responses and we're going to generate a PDF with it. I'll open up a form that I already created and a nice little feature that you can do as well. There's this little AI button here. You can select it. So you can have fill out and use AI to create an individual question for you, or you can create a multi question form. And if you want to do that, you'll go in here and just give a brief description of the questions or types of questions that you want to ask. And it does a pretty decent job. So here's the questions I'm going to ask based off intake. Pretty simple, just a handful of questions. And this is the information that is going to display on the PDF. I am going to add an additional page though, and it's going to be a form. I will call this contact info and down here it gets dropped in as an additional page but i want to add this before the intake and something i want to add in as a heading and call this intake form and below it i'll go contact details if we highlight it we can change this to a heading three style and from here something else i like to do i like to move the button over to the right side just so that it doesn't accidentally get clicked i feel like it's less likely to get selected over here. A couple other things I want to bring in is a couple of short answer field types, and I want to bring in an email input as well. If you want to bring in an address, phone number, those types of details, you can do that as well. Drag this so it's side by side and label this accordingly. This is going to be first name. This is going to be last name, and we'll leave that as email. We want to set all of these as required. And you'll see that it's denoted by this little asterisk here. And that will mean that all of these fields have to have some text in it before you can proceed to the next page. One other thing I want to do is I want to concatenate both the first name and the last name to be able to use on our form. We'll go into logic up to calculations and we'll add a new calculation. I'll label it full name. The type is going to be text and we can create the calculation, the value. We don't need to use a rule in this case. We're just going to use first name and last name. Now it's displaying as first name, last name, and it's going to be assigned to the variable full name. I can hit done and close this out and I can proceed to the intake page. Intake info, I'll go down and I'm just going to add in the full name variable. And so then that way, once the contact proceeds to the next page, it will display their name. Here's our list of questions. And I already have a document that has all of these questions on it. You can create it in Word, Google Docs, Canva, anywhere that you want to create a document. And then we can pass in the variables to that document. Quickly show you the ending. I just have it set up as thank you. We will be in touch soon. You could add in the document to be downloaded at this point in time 
is completely up to you. And we can also send the document based off of the email that we received. But now to create the document and map the variables to the document, we can click this integrate, generate PDF. And now I'm going to just drop in the PDF, or in this case, the document that I want to map the fields to. It'll just take a moment to upload. And once it's been completed, it will prepare the document for us. There is this generate field mappings with AI. You can test it out. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But what I'm going to do is just manually map in all of the fields that we need. I just created this really simply on Google Docs and then exported it as a PDF. So from here, we can go in, add a field, and I'll drop it in where I want it to display. And we have to connect it to one of the mapped fields from the previous responses. But again, in this case, we created a calculation and the variable's full name so that it concatenates the first and the last name for us. Email, same thing, drag it to where we want the email to display and we'll connect it to the email. For all of these, there's some settings. You can change the font, font size, how it aligns, color. We have some formatting options as well. I'm just gonna leave it as the default for the tutorial. And then quickly here, what is your fitness goals? This is the first question on the intake form or on the intake page of the intake form. And I will connect that to what is your fitness goals. So we'll see here, it looks like it's going to drop in a little checkbox. So that way, if you displayed all of the options within your document, you could map the field accordingly. But what I'm going to do is display it as text. And then that way, based off of the answer selected, the entire text will get inserted here. I'll just quickly go through and map in the rest of these, and then we can test out our form. It's always important to save the document and we can click preview. Actually, in this case, we have not created a sample submission yet. So we can go in and click that and it will create some sample answers for us. If we hit generate PDF, and in a moment, we'll be able to see what it looks like. Download it. I will open it in the browser. And now you can see this is what it would display as. It didn't pass in a name for us, but everything else is coming in according to how we have it formatted. If you click into the integrate tab, you have a few options that shows that you can view the PDF on your results page. So you can view it yourself in the back end. Then there's the send PDF and email. If you click that, you'll be able to attach the PDF that gets generated to be automatically sent to the client or customer filling out the form that you can send to the third party integration. If you have these questions already integrated with Airtable or SmartSuite or another database, you can then send the PDF to be attached to that corresponding record. And finally, you can allow the user to download a copy if they want. And that's the one I'm going to demonstrate today. I'll go into exit and back into edit. I'll go to the ending and if I click download PDF and I only have one document, so it's going to automatically pass that in for me. And now when they select this button, they will be able to download that generated PDF. Let's go into preview. We can give this a test. I will just pass in a random name. And then when you hit next, ask for some information. I'm just going to pass in some example details. And when I hit submit, it shows thank you. And if I click download PDF, it will prompt me to download it and save it. Once I click into it, you can see that it concatenated the first and last name for us, passed in the email and all of the answers that we selected within the intake form. Based off of that response, if you go into results, you can see that all of the information was passed through to this results table. And based off the generated documents, if I go in and select it, I will be able to view the document and I can go ahead and download it if I need to as well. Once you've tested it and make sure that the form's working, go ahead, hit publish. You'll get the form link that you can share with users. And you can also embed the form on your website based off some of the options here. That's it for this video. This is a great option to replace Google Forms that doesn't allow the same sort of flexibility or doesn't allow you to integrate the responses with your preferred database tool. And I just like the way that it looks way more than Google Forms as well. And it allows you to create PDFs really easily.
Again, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get more tutorials in the future.